Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. And welcome to my episode 21 of Saturday Morning Makes for the year 2024. If you are unaware, Saturday Morning Makes is an open art collaborative hosted by the amazing Jillian Norwood. And I will link to her channel so you can get more information. But for now, let's jump on in. Hey y'all, I have actually quite a bit to share with you today. Um, I didn't lay anything out because I'm hoping that keeps me from being so disorganized. <laughs> so I kind of have them in piles. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So I started by using up the rest of that um, motherboard that I created last week. And I just used it in bits that I had. So there were a few of my little ATCs that I've created here that have a full panel, some that have bigger chunks, and some that are just stripped right up. So I'm just going to lay them out. So you can see these two are full, full panels. This one is chunks, and then these are strips. So I just, I just used it how I had. Now in each of these that I did the stripping with, I actually put a strip of white in between just to break it up a little bit. And the stamp sets are from Whimsy. I think pretty much everything that I've used is from Whimsy today. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So, um, well, that will be coming. I used that with these two. So I have this little set. It is called Birthday Cool. And I just love these little images. I do have this guy on a, another card coming as well. So I'll set him aside, but this is birthday cool, and that's these two little guys. Now these two are the same image, but I had three of the of the deery, so I wanted three of the snowmen. So just repeated the image and painted it up differently. And then this one I don't know the name of to be honest, and I didn't look it up, but I have all of the little deery, and I have the little um, what is he called? <laughs> a little bunny and a little penguin. I have them as well. Hang on. I want you to be able to see it. I did not use this image, but I used all of the others. You can see I've got the little penguin there, and then here I have the little bunny. So they are super cute. I will, um, I'll find the name and I'll link this downstairs in the description box if anybody's interested. So there is that. Let me set these over here. I think they're absolutely adorable. Now for those backgrounds, um, one of the sets that I used was this one, Mountain Majesty die set. And I used these mountains and these these little dies are the snow-capped peaks. Well, I'm not gonna try to pull it out because knowing me, I'll lose it. <laughs> I actually have something on the floor that I can't find, but I know it fell. I haven't been able to find it yet, but that's the little snow-capped peak. So I have that and I also have Oh, what is that one called? Like trees. Oh, I don't have the name of it. Like trio of trees, I think it's called. Something like that. I really like this die. It's really fun. And I just kind of cut those trees down. I have one there, one there, and one there. And then um, going back to this set, I actually use these as well. I don't know if I use the house part. I think I just have the trees. There's a couple of the trees there, and then there's a few on the bottom right underneath him. So, I think that is really cute. And for the bases, for the, the ground underneath them, I literally just took some paper and just kind of cut wavy lines and glued it down. I just needed a landing place for all of them. So, I didn't put any sentiments, um, wasn't really looking for any sentiments, but... I could not let that motherboard go to waste. I just, I just it fell in love with that. I thought it was so great and I just wanted to use it up. So I made these sweet little ATCs. Now I did not do anything on the backs of them. Some of them are cleaner than others <laughs> because these, are, these with the strips are actually glued down to another piece, but these two are the actual motherboard. So um, I will say if anyone is interested in doing a swap, let me know. I have six cards. I will swap with six people if you're interested. So I'm going to set these aside, but let me know that down in the description box if you if you are interested in doing a swap. So I'm going to set these aside. 
Now I did use some different confetti out of my stash. Um, this is from the stash that I'm trying to get rid of. I don't know if you can see glistening in the light. There's some, some clear stars or snowflakes there. There, there. These are just confetti, or not even confetti, they're sequins. And on here I have some more of the, irid they're not even iridescent, they're just clear little snowflakes. And then these are more of the confetti. So I did forget to say that, but those are not from this calls for confetti. They're from my stash and I am not sure what company those came from. Now, before I move to something else, I want to show you this other one that I did with the motherboard. So there it is. I created a big background and then I used my um, wonky stitched rectangle dies to trim it out. And then this is where this one came into play. Now this is called the Shaker Maker Rectangle, so, and I just used this smaller one. I did not use this larger one, though it has a similar stitching, but I used the smaller one to create this window. And then I just used some acetate from my stash, and this is actually the mix. I'm trying to remember. I want to say it might be from Sparkle Blends. It might be a Sparkle Blend. It might also be Studio Katya. I'm not sure. But anyway, there's just some fun things in there. There's little snowmen, there's little shapes, there's snowflakes and whatnot. Lots of different confetti and sequins. So even little um, dragées in there too. So just a fun little mix. And um, this is the that one image that I showed you. This little guy. And then of course I used my... Um, Antique frames dies? No, frame label dies. I use these a lot, y'all. Probably every day. So, and then I did the I Surrender to Your Love. I just thought they were very cute together. So that's all with the motherboard. Very happy with those. And then I just had, um, oh no, I had a couple more with the motherboard. And then they literally were just little, little chunks. So I decided to use them for the hashtag hip to be square. Are they adorable or what? Now, if you're not familiar, the hashtag hip to be square is hosted by my sweet friend Tracy at Tracy Vanover Designs. And um, yeah, it's just so so the square is the, the mini square cards, the three by three cards. And we're just sharing. I'm trying to share once a week, at least through June. Not sure how much further I'll extend that. Um, I, I think the, uh, her hashtag is going the rest of the year, if I'm not mistaken. So, anyway, those I think those are adorable. The stamps are from this set from Whimsy. It's called Under the Sea. So stinking cute. I do have coordinating dies. These were gifted to me. But I tend to just fussy cut them out anyway. But they're all adorable. Really love this set. Now, on the background, I used uh, this embossing folder from Altenew. It is called Enchanting Vines. And it looked like, if you just look at the the, uh, the embossing folder itself, I don't know how well you can see it. I still have residual ink in there from probably more than a year ago. <laughs> and you can really see it with the white behind it. Anyway, it kind of reminded me of like seaweed, you know, if it's coming up from the bottom. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool. So I used that to create those backgrounds. And then I had these bubbles from my stash. These are from Studio Katya. And they're iridescent bubbles, but some are iridescent and some are clear. But I just thought I would use them up. And they do stand out pretty far. They, I have the images popped up on some um, foam tape. And the bubbles stand up even further than the foam tape. So. Um, yeah, I didn't make envelopes for them, but I'm sure that I will, but I just think they're super cute. And then I put some pops of color, just the glitter. This one is, does it have a name? Snowflake. And I just put it on their cheeks, on his cheeks and then on his like antenna and then his little, are they called fins on a seahorse? I don't know. But I also had stamped and colored and fussy cut these guys. And so I pulled this this cardstock out of my um, out of my stash, and I, I actually was going back and forth between two. And I reached out to my sweet friend Rebecca 
the Whimsical Witch, and I was like, hey, which one? And she really liked them both, and she was encouraging me to mix them together. I didn't like the way that looked. She loved the way that looks, and it just, it just goes to show, you know, we all have different vibes, and what pleases our eye is what pleases our eye. And I, I appreciated her input. I ended up going with this only because I liked that bold contrast, the blue and the white. And then so I had these little squares that I used the same embossing folder. And again, colored. these are all colored up with my Olos, by the way. And I used the same pops of color. I did it on the ends of his fins and on his shell. And the same iridescent bubbles. So I think the bubbles are really cool. So those are my hip to be squares. Very, very cute hip to be square. And again, under the C from Whimsy Stamps. So very, very cute. And these two are the last of my motherboard. So there's nothing left. I almost never do that, but I couldn't let that go to waste. So there is that. And then in my stash, I was going through and creating and cleaning and just getting some stuff taken care of and I came across a couple different things. So one was this. I made this feeling stabby um, several months ago. My sweet friend Gina was up um, and we had a crafty day and I made that, but I never attached it to anything. So I finally attached it to this card. I don't know if I'm incredibly happy with it, but there it is. <laughs> it's down. I really love this frame. Um, the, the colors are not quite the same. This one has more of a, a yellow cast to it but I love the feeling stabby. So that and this um, banner die and this um, these primitive layered hearts are all from Impression Obsession. They're Anna White designs. And um, this sca inverted scallop is from Whimsy Stamps. So I just think they're, I don't know. It's adorable. Do I like the overall card? I'm not sure. Y'all tell me what you think. I'm just not sure. I love this guy this voodoo doll love him love him can't say that enough <laughs> so there's that and then this one was made on that same day this little um the little heart because you can see they're the same sets right the same um primitive heart dies so there's the the one with the lace and then the the smaller one that layers on top of it now, I have to say, the, both of these hearts, Gina and I were playing with um, tin foil and alcohol inks, and so that is what those are. And they were cut from the same, the same sheet that I made. And I can't remember if I used a heart embossing folder or the polka dot embossing folder. But anyway, it's, it's very subtle anyway because they've both been run back through the die cutting machine to die cut them so you can't really see the embossing but on the back of this little panel I embossed with the with the big um, I started to say giant polka dots again this is from Park Lane I've used this recently as well um, I try to find it I know it's still available at Joann's but um, I'll try to find it and link it downstairs again I used this um, white lace from my stash and just, you know, made a little bit of trim just to kind of expand that scene, if you will, and add some more texture. Even though it's tone on tone, the texture really does it for me. And then these little guys, are, are again, are in my stash. I have this whole container. There's flowers and hearts. And, um, yeah, it's full. And I will probably never use them again. So if you would like to win this little container of flowers and hearts, um, put flowers and hearts in your comment downstairs in the description box. So two things so far, flowers and hearts, and if you are interested in swapping. So if anyone is interested, the first six people who um, mentioned that they want to participate in the ATC swap, the first six people, will that's who I'll work with, and then I'll pick a winner for those. So... All right, so there's those things. I think they're both very cute, very different, right? I mean, my style is pretty much grungy, mixed media, that kind of thing. But I do whatever pleases me in that moment. So I would just encourage you, don't try to pigeon yourself, pigeonhole yourself into one style. You know, whatever you want to do is what you want to do. 
Now these were in my stash as well. This this Frank face was already made up, Frankie Monster face, and I just layered him onto the other colors of um, layering bits. And I want to put something on the inside, like I'm not myself without you or something like that. Um, because of course Frankenstein ended up being, I don't even know how many different people came together to make him, so. But that's a sentiment that I'll have to um, create on my computer, but I just think he's cute. Again, all of these die cuts are from Anna White and Impression Obsession. So, but I'm glad to, to get that made up and put onto a card. Now the next two, um, super, super cute. But I had these tags and I was wanting to use them up. These I created several months ago. I don't know if it was late winter, or early spring. It may have been early spring because of all the springy colors. But I created them and then they've just been sitting here. And I put the, I put the ribbon on them. I, I actually um, cannibalized some old cards earlier this week. And this came off of one of the cards. And I feel like that matches that kind of yellowy orange in there perfectly. But I wanted to use them. And so I thought that maybe the flamingo sitting on there would be really cute. But it just didn't work. So I still have these that I need to, to do something with. But there they are. So after I colored these guys and fussy cut, or actually I used the dies on these. So I colored them with the Olos, die cut them out. And then I was going through my, um, my scraps and this was in the black and white scrap bin and I was like, oh, there you go, that pop of pink against the black and white, perfect. And then this I actually pieced together to create this background. I have a bunch of black and white scraps and I have some old 12 by 12 pattern paper that I'll never use for what it is. But I just, I tore it down a little bit and I just layered up some of my black and white pattern papers. And I think, it was probably the first or the full 12 inches, but it was only, I don't know, maybe, maybe five, five and a half inches wide. But anyway, I laid it down and I stripped it up, glued it down, and then I cut out, I used the same sprinkle scallop rectangle die. This largest one right there. I just like that look. It's a, it's a subtle scallop and I like the little um, die cut openings along the edge. But I used the same die to create both, you know, the frames of both. And I just think it's really sweet. Now, the heart and the star are from the Primitive primitive Shakers Shapes die set. I think this is still available. It may be on the retiring list. These are from Whimsy. Um, I'll have to look and see. And I'll try to, you know, if it's, if it's already retired, then I won't list it downstairs. But um, if it's not retired, I'll definitely create a link to it for you. So Primitive Shaker Shapes die set. So I love that. And then the I'm Still Standing came from the, the Flamingo die set, the Flamingo Summer. I used this last week as well. Now I do have the coordinating dies, but again, they're sold separate so they don't come together. But I have a bunch of the flowers and the greenery that are now stamped, colored, and fussy cut out. Most of them are fussy cut. Um, some of them are die cut. But anyway, the I'm Still Standing is from there. I used the same label dies to cut that out. And this one I cut out, just bubble cut. Now, I thought that I wanted more pops of pink. And so I pulled out another confetti mix. This has been in my stash forever. I don't know. This may have come from Simon Says Stamp, now that I think about it. But um, there's three different shades of yellow. There's uh, of yellow, pink. There's this one, it looks white, but it's not. It's like the softest, softest pink. And then that's the next softest. And then this one is a little more bold. And I thought that I wanted that. And now that I have them on there, I kind of wish that I didn't because I really love just that pop of pink. And it's still pretty busy with those big polka dots, but I love it. It's a lot going on. This little bitty space right here is the only place for your eye to rest, <laughs> but I love it. So this one has, you know, it has more spots of, of solid white, so that has that neutral, that kind of not only neutralizes the background, but it gives your eye a place to rest. That's always very important to me. So, but I think those pops of pink on those black and white cards are just striking. So the only other thing that I want to share with you is, you know, I'm using up that, <coughs> that motherboard 
and I still have these from a few weeks ago. And I think that I will be using these in much the same way as I did this. Hang on. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my throat. But this one I've already cut down as a tag. I've used a tag die. And I will probably do the same, but those will be pretty cute. You know, I can use whatever color I want if I want to layer them up or another pattern paper or something. Or I could even do that and just get the tone on tone um, texture to go behind it. But yeah, so I have these. This will probably make two more. You know, I cut that down. Um, but those will probably be coming in the next week. I just wanted to share that. So don't throw away your little scraps, especially if you want to do the hip to be square. I encourage you, come and join us. Do the hip to be square with us. It's really simple. The three by three cards, they're so easy to make. Now my envelope die is from um, my creative time. So I don't know if you're familiar with them or not. I am not affiliated with them, but I can still put that link downstairs in the description box for you, and you can hop over and see it. My Creative Time has a lot of different things. Jill Norwood, obviously our amazing mentor here, or leader here, however you want to look at that. Um, she does work for Emma. She's on the design team, and a lot of people who participate in Saturday Morning Makes actually um, are on the design team for um, My Creative Time. So that's where the, the um, envelope die came from that I have for these so here it's all my goodies again if you are interested in the ATC swap let me know downstairs in the description box if you would like to be in the running to win this container of confetti there's um, little flowers that are more sequin because they have the hole in the middle and then there's heart confetti in in this hot purple fuchsia, magenta, whatever, I guess that's more, I don't know, whatever color this is, it's up for grabs. <laughs> so let me know hearts and flowers, let me know ATC swap, and um, until next time y'all, this has been Nancy the Handy Scandy with Saturday Morning Makes and Hip to Be Square, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Mwah. I'm out.